Let's get a little tunes, man. What we got on there? What are some of those fun things that you and your brother, man, that y'all did on a regular basis, man, that you think back now is like, uh, man, what in the world was I thinking about or what was he thinking about, you know, at that at that specific time? Well, I think my brother was always better in English and I was always better at math, so <laughs> <laughs> I would always help him with his math and he would definitely always help me with my English, but, you know, we would always just give people a hard time. But us being twins, we would trick people all the time. You know, we got a kick out of it, you know, because we were so much alike. We would... You know, that's Marquise or I'm Marquise and that's Mike and we would just play those kind of games with people just to play with them you know trick their minds but you know, me and my brother we were so tough on each other growing up you know we we competed with each other and that's one thing about having a twin brother not only just a brother because of you know when you have an older brother you know he he's hanging out with his friends it's a different class yeah. but when you got a twin brother you know that's somebody that every day and just you look at him you like oh his body looks better than mine I gotta do this I gotta do this some more you know oh, he's stronger than me I gotta lift a little bit more so it was always an open competition every day with me and my brother so I think that's what you know part of the reason why I made us who we are today now once again like we been going through the last couple of years even since you've been here new coaching staff coach Gates coming in um, uh, uh, one of the youngest coaches in the National Football League you know have you had an opportunity to you know meet with a lot of the coaches and, and have opportunity to sit down with them and just see the direction yeah and I you know I have had the chance to get around coach Gates and some of the coaches on the staff and you know honestly I, my impression was just man these guys are great they're gonna be great for our organization great for our football team because you know, when you meet somebody for the first time, you know, it's, you, you don't know what to expect. Right. It's hard to have conversation with them because you don't know each other. But when my first conversation with him, we just clicked right away. You know, we talked about a lot of different things as far as life, football. You know, we didn't really talk about the schemes and what stuff we were going to do. And that's what really most right. impressed me about him, you know, that he wanted to build relationships outside of football before. We're going to get to all that stuff, but he wanted to get to know his guys, make sure that he has the right kind of guys in his locker room. And uh, he's, he's doing a great job so far. When you look at, you know, guys on, on draft day and see these guys, you know, get drafted here, get drafted there. And, you know, do you really, since you've been drafted, did you, do you watch the draft and the direction and, and the teammates and, and the guys that the team is selecting and like, okay, this is how this is going to fit in yep. to this piece of the puzzle for uh, my my football team. 100%. You know, we all watch college football throughout the year. You know, that's some, one of the biggest things our Saturdays is going to watch college football. You know, see the talent that's coming into the NFL. And I love watching the draft because I know I like seeing the expressions on the kids' faces. You know, they work their lives to, you know, get to this point and then to get drafted. You know, it's like a dream come true. And, you know, to see some of those guys' expression just brings me back to the day I walked across the stage. There you and go. I was drafted in the first round. It, it brings back that same feeling. It just I enjoy watching it every year because I know those guys, you know, bust their tails all year to get to get to this point and you know see those guys get selected. It's awesome. Are you a movie freak? <laughs> Not really, but you know, I, I my girl, man, she she loves going to the movies, man. It's hard for me. Man. I'm six five. I can't sit in them chairs. <laughs> Yeah, chronic back pain. Hey man, see, listen, man. That's why you gotta go to the to the movies that have the oversized chairs, and then you know you yeah, you, yeah. Get, you go to the theaters that have now you can select your seat. But you know they, they get advanced now. Yeah, they give they you covers, advanced. pillows, everything. They, they want everything they want you to fall asleep in their home. If they're gonna make a movie about you, what actor will play you know Mike Pounce? Oh man, that's a tough one, man. I. I, I Man, what, first of all, we got to find that, we got to find somebody that, six five. We got to find somebody six five. We, we got to find somebody that's good looking too. That's another thing. <laughs> I was gonna say my brother, but then we had to find somebody to play him. So I probably had to get Jamil Douglas to play him. <laughs>